many of you know if you're following us on this journey that we pulled Mackenzie out of public school on about November the 3rd. Um, there's just too much going on and everybody is in agreement including her doctors that the public school we are in is just not the right fit for her. Uh, her doctors are going to stand by us in this adventure and um, they don't want to see her go back so like, if we have problems like we've actually considered suing the school district but right now we just are like um, we just we just don't know what we're doing so um, we have enrolled her in a homeschool program uh, we have chosen to go with Seton Home Study School Seton Home School Study however it is um, a, we used it before for a year when my stepdaughter came back from South Dakota. She had been living with her grandparents and we wanted to be sure to get her in the right city high school. There's only three. I would consider it ever sending. Actually, really, it's really it's one now, but there's only so many that I would consider sending my children to because Bottom City's high schools are just a complete and absolute mess. Um, so anyway, she was homeschooled for a, a year and then we put her we transferred her up to the school that she went to and um, also it's cost wise it wasn't my first choice the my first choice with the program I wanted was Calvert Education which is a private school here in Maryland that also has a homeschool option but it was $2,400 for the option I wanted. The lower option was $1,700 and that just wasn't something that we could figure out right now. Um, so we, we went with Seton. It is a good program, you know, we've used it before for Caitlin. You know, this is the first time that I'm really, because Caitlin was able to do a lot of it on her own since she was 14 or 15 at the time. Um, so I'm having to do a lot with Mackenzie, but you know, uh, we paid 210 up front and then we pay 50 something a month until the end of the year, I believe. So I have to total it all up and I'll include it somewhere of what we're gonna pay. Here comes a Mackenzie. Hold on. Okay, so she's headed back upstairs. She um, actually she has finished all of her most of her work for the day. The only thing we have to do is history. Um, and I found that actually she bangs the stuff out. So I don't know if it was if, if it was the class size or if it was just the way the teachers were teaching her. Or, you know, she needs breaks, so like uh, we usually do two subjects, two or three subjects, and then she'll take an hour break and we come back, you know. But it it works for us, okay? But, um, let me see, they have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 books that they sent us. Now some of these are, um, some of these are her book report books. There you go. So we had to choose four books. They gave me an entire list of books that I could choose from. Well, not an entire list of books that I could choose from. But they said, you know, here are some options. Pick what you want. So what we did, we got, um, and they sent all these to me. It was included in the cost. A Book of Valor, The Children of Fatima. This was Family Robinson and Neron Crowd. Um, and one thing I like about Seton is there are some things I grade and then there are some things they grade so it makes like it splits the um it splits the responsibility so you can't just sit here and can't say oh she got all hundreds you know which I do like because you know uh, you know I, I'm not saying that that's what I would do but <laughs> um you know it, it could very well happen Oh, there it is. Okay, so then we have also, and I think that might just be included in reading, but I'm not sure. We 
we have English for Young Catholics. It's their sixth edition. I think it's pretty good. Like right now, she's working on pronouns and direct and indirect uh, parts of the sentence. She told me today this was too easy. So um, it'll be interesting to see how it goes along. I do need, I want to look up standards for sixth grade because I'm not totally familiar with them. I did teach, but I taught pre-K and I know the standards for pre-K and kindergarten, but I don't know the standards for any of the other grades. Okay, so then we have spelling for young Catholics. This she breezes through. Like, um, you have to forgive her handwriting because her handwriting is junk, but you're just a given list of words and they have to find the definition. But she can breeze through this. Usually each lesson is only like three assignments. And she just wants to pop them out, which is fun with me. Um, I'm not gonna knock it. I have told her that like, if you feel like you wanna put something off, I don't care as long as by Friday it's done. We also have reading three young Catholics thinking skills. This is not something I don't, and have we worked in this? Because I just started in quarter two. I kind of skipped over quarter one and figured we would uh, do all the tests for quarter one, which we are working on. Um, I haven't really used this yet, so I can't judge that one. Um, reading from Young Catholic Comprehension. She has worked in this, and it gives you a little, uh, a little lesson and just some questions on the other side. She not, she doesn't necessarily like to read. So um, those are the hardest for her. And vocabulary for young Catholics. By the way, Seton is a Catholic homeschool, if you're wondering. Um, that does not bug me. I did go, I'm not Catholic, but I went to a Catholic middle school. So, I mean, I'm familiar with the religion and um, my kids do go to church, uh, but we don't practice, we're not practicing Catholics. I actually was born Methodist, but I've never, so my mom, my grandmother's dying wish was for us all to be baptized, and my mom had us baptized in the Methodist religion because there was a there's a Methodist church uh, a couple blocks away, and that's that's one of the reasons why. But um, yeah. So again, with the vocabulary book, we haven't really worked in this, but this seems like really fun. Um, there's crossword. There's like a crossword puzzle which I think is neat. She really likes some of the things that, um, like yesterday was our first time in this part of his, history. It's the maps, graphs, and charts, and like yesterday, we just went right to lesson 11, and she's like, oh, I love this so much. Like, um, can we do this again? And lesson 11, oh, I'm sorry, lesson eight, with finding latitude and longitude, and she's like, I know this already. And I'm like, well, that's fine, but they want you to, you know, and, um, you know, so she did pretty well. She likes, like, I don't know, you know, she, she's a non-traditional learner in that you can't stand there and lecture to her. You need to, you need to, like, teach her in a way that you can teach her. Okay. So, um, I'm not a big fan of their math book because it, it's copyrighted in, uh, I'll show you this. If you can focus on this, first step. Copyright 1995. Yes, this book was made in 1995. I think they need to update it, to be honest with you. But I will say, uh, this these lessons are very, um, very repetitive. Let me say that. Uh, so she's constantly having to divide and multiply, which is what she's been struggling with. Um, and by the way, no one ever, like I had one teacher tell me that she was struggling with division. No one ever sat there and said, your child doesn't know how to multiply. Uh, yeah. Fail, city schools, fail. But she's doing really well with this. And I'm, I'm realizing that she's taking in some knowledge. Like she really could not even multiply. She might have done like, she did like, twos and threes, but she couldn't do fours or fives. I can't not do fives. Like, five, ten, you know. So, I'm realizing she is picking up on this. So, 
Thank you that she is picking up on um picking up on it. They also include with masks. These are all of the answers. So these are all the answers for math uh, and their tests. Uh, half the tests I grade, half the tests they grade. Their tests are weighted more, but that's okay. Um, she got an 80 on her last test. And honestly, I think she just made little mistakes. And that's okay, though. I'm so impressed with an 80 because she was failing at... At, uh, and I'm sorry, like, I don't know what this is about. It's really cold outside. Um, there's another book. There's another book, and I'm not sure that this is Mother Cabrini, Missionary to the World. I'm not, I'll, I'll have to look at some stuff. Uh, I'm sure that I got something wrong there. Uh, so this is our science book. It is God's Marvelous Works, book two. So far. I'm too impressed just because it's all black and white and it's not very entertaining um, but we've only done two chapters and we learned about rats yay and this past chapter what chapter she, she just read this yesterday and I'm wondering This is part of reading. This is our heritage. Um, it's got poems in it, it's got stories, and then I'll have to show you too in another book. Uh, they'll have some of these have questions at the end of them, and some of them you need to go to the information they send you. This is history, our Catholic legacy. World history for young Catholics while you want Asian history to the age of discovery. Mackenzie's favorite topic. Um, we also have religion for young Catholics. Now. We also have Bible history for young Catholics. And the new St. Joseph Bunner Catechism. She does have health. I'm going to assume that it's probably, I think, yeah, they considered health and science. Uh, and we haven't worked in this yet, so hopefully we'll get to it. Art for Young Catholics. This had we sing and harmonize. They do do music, so there's a bunch of songs in here. I can't sing. I'm not going to sing them for you. I'm so sorry. I'll pause for a minute. I'm going to come. So they send you lesson plans that you can use, like this for his first quarter, week one. And it just says, you know, uh, like there you go, lesson two, which is what you day two, lesson two, page five, do this exercise. And it goes on. Check out week six, week nine, and then you would get to week nine, and it's like take this test. You could take it now, or you know, do it how you want. And this is where we started. It was on week ten. They have this for every subject they also include their test right here in this book so like history tells you you know you want our catholic legacy chapter 14 and i love it because it's spelled out for me i don't need to worry about anything um so yeah oh like this too the stuff for every subject like they've got reading um Religion, they tell you how to do the religion and what you should be working on every week. Science lesson plans, etc. So that's so super, super cool. And then the other thing that I really enjoyed was they sent me a teacher's plan book for oh, the Seton Home School Study. Um, and like this is last week mine like you know I just wrote down what we were doing so I could see it in in my book what we needed to accomplish and then like this week this is all that we're doing and like look I mean like she's banged out she did do this I had to cross it out so then we know that tomorrow 
tomorrow we need to do 22a and 22b and she has to do a paragraph continue reading chapter 9 this is reading for young catholics the comprehension book science is to review um that's why that's crossed out because we finished science on monday she answered her questions on monday so we reviewed today test eight tomorrow for math and then she needs to finish lesson she needs to finish spelling because she didn't want to do it again so i mean you know she's doing a lot better i'm not going to complain um um we're just going with it uh it, it's working very well for her so i'm happy she's happy she seems so much better like she doesn't have to take her anxiety medicine every day, which is a plus to me because she couldn't go anywhere. Like she couldn't go to school without having a medicine because she was so fearful and anxious about being there because of the kids who bully her. And it's sad, you know? It's very, very sad that they continue to allow certain kids to go to school and they don't do anything about it. And I'm sorry if anybody from the school is watching because you know what, I know you watch my vlogs. I know. Um, you didn't do enough for my kid and that's, that's, that's it. You didn't do enough for my kid and I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry this was the best decision we made and um, you know, the doctors even agree that like the school is the cause of her anxiety and her depression so <sighs> yeah yeah so yeah I just wanted to show you what we were using um I, I'm very thankful that this school has spelled everything out for me it takes a little bit of weight off of my shoulders that I don't have to sit here and lesson plan for her um you know, I did teach very briefly, but I, like I said, I taught pre-K and I love teaching pre-K, but so much different than teaching middle school. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I've got so many vlogs to upload. I need to go clean my car. There's like so much to do in all actuality, but you at least get this video today. And I'm gonna say, I'm so sorry, my phone is like buzzing at me. I'm gonna say see you later. I'm gonna say see you later, alligator. And we will see you sometime because that's how it's going right now.